Hi and I welcome you to this video. This video will give you a better understanding on shovels in RabbitMQ. As you all know, in RabbitMQ all messages from publishers will reach an exchange in RabbitMQ. And based on the routing key, the message will be routed to appropriate queue and from there the consumer will fetch the message. As your business grows, you might start getting requirements to move or redirect messages from one queue to another queue. These kind of requirements will come as temporary fix until we change the design. But saving such requirements at a shorter span of time will be trivial for your business. RabbitMQ Shovel will help us in doing this without much difficulty. Using Shovel, we can move all existing messages from one queue to another queue and any new incoming messages will be redirected to the new queue as long as the shovel exists. Shovels are well known for moving messages between queues in RabbitMQ brokers because of the attractive benefits it offers while transferring the message. Now let's see what shovel has to offer us in moving messages. First thing is shovel have loose coupling between environments. I mean it can move messages between brokers in different domains. They may have different vhost or users. Shovel will just go on doing its job of moving messages. The version of RabbitMQ can also be different and Shovel has zero impact due to this. Next thing is Shovels are WAN friendly. They use client connection to communicate between brokers and it's designed to handle intermittent connectivity without message loss. In other words, we can say that Shovel will behave exactly like a client application and it will consume messages from the queue in source broker and it will publish the messages to the queue in destination broker. Apart from this, shovels can also be configured to declare the queue and exchanges where the message has to be published in destination broker. On making such configuration, shovel connects to source and destination brokers and then it will declare the queue and exchange in destination broker. After that, the message will be published to the declared exchange with appropriate routing key. We can also configure all parameters that Shovel has to send while publishing message to destination broker. Based on the way we create Shovels, there are two types of Shovels. One is Static Shovel and the other is Dynamic Shovel. Static Shovels are created by typing required configuration in RabbitMQ config file. After creating such configuration, a RabbitMQ server restart is mandatory. Whereas Dynamic Shovels are created using RabbitMQ management console, and a RabbitMQ server restart is not a mandatory thing after this. Now you have got a basic knowledge about shovels in RabbitMQ. But to fully understand the concept in end-to-end -end perspective, you need a practical sessions in shovel and other topics in RabbitMQ with demos. I have published a course at a very minimal price in Udemy eLearning platform and I have pasted the course link in description of this video. And this course covers each and every topic in RabbitMQ with full practical session and on completing this course you will be ready to work on RabbitMQ without any difficulty. On clicking the link in description of this video you will be landing in my course page and on scrolling down you will see more details about my course and you can also watch my course preview videos for free and remember that I am giving this course at a very minimal price for a limited duration of time. I believe you got a good introduction to RabbitMQ shovel and thanks for watching this video.